With a capacity of over 109,000 fans, this is the biggest football stadium in the nation. Welcome to the Big House. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Penn State is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Michigan's a team and a program that year in, year out, has got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line. And, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact they can throw the ball. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage, it's a great time to really open up and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. He scrambles. Slides down to the ground. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right, and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage, which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. It's first and 10. Ball on the 41. And he's tackled at about the 39-yard line. Good discipline here by the defense, stringing the option out and plugging the running lanes. That moved them back. Gets out to around the 48. About four yards away here on third down. Quick throw. Got it complete. He's out of bounds. That is money in the bank. Sometimes you just can't stop a good combination. made at the 42. Call it a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. From the 42-yard line, second down. He makes it to the 42-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. That's a great tackle at the 49. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. And watch out, they're going to bring the heat right here. He was able to deaden that kick perfectly, and he gives them a long field to work with. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Brought down at about the 21. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 21. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Lee gains around five yards on the counter play from scrimmage. Big opening. 
Tackle right around the 34. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. From their own 34 yard line, it's first down. Tackled after a decent pickup. That's a team of six on the ground. That'll make it second and four. He's tackled around the 44-yard line. Saunders gains about four yards there. Nothing special here. Quick pass and a good catch, but it keeps the chains moving. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. Caught a big hit there to stop him. From their own 47-yard line, it's second down. He's gobbled up in the backfield. And this play is number eight on the drive. Taken down right around the 42 yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 42 yard line. On the run, right side. And they make the stop at the 41 yard line. This is the 10th play of this drive. Quick throw, and down he goes around the 31 yard line. First down. From the 31 yard line. First down. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Taken down right around the 18 yard line. First down. From the 18 yard line. First down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Tries to set up a screen for the wide receiver. And he shoved out of bounds at the nine. That brings up second and one. This is the 14th play of this drive. Roger, Roger. Mike Coy, Mike Coy, Mike Coy. Hey, 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 Just throws this one away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. In the shotgun and five wide outs. And he hits him hard at the four. That's a game of five on the play. That makes it first and goal. And this is the 16th play of the drive. Touchdown, Penn State! He hits the PAT. 
A long 16-play, 83-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So the score now, 7-0. The Nittany Lions are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 36 yard line. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. That brings us second and nine. And he tackles him hard at the 39. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it third and seven. From their own 39-yard line. Third down. They go with the screen here, and the halfback's got it. They'll bring him down around the 37-yard line. You know, the screen pass is used more often than not when the defense is putting pressure on the quarterback. When they feel this is the time that they can get after the quarterback, whether that's a blitz situation or it's third down and long, when they really feel like this is the play we're going to get after the quarterback, and the offense is able to sniff it out and get the screen pass off right over top of the blitz, and then you have either a receiver running back waiting there to make a big play, and he's got a convoy of linemen in front of him that didn't have to worry about the pressure. Boy, now you talk about a big play for the offense. There's a strike complete. And he's tackled around the 33-yard line. It's second and five here. Ball on the 33. There's a strike complete. He's down. Play action. He'll scramble. Very good tackle in space. From the 23 yard line, it's first down. Takes the ball right, makes it to the 22 yard line. It's the ninth play of the drive. run and he's brought down after a quarter of play we've got a low scoring defensive battle on our hands Penn State leads 7 nothing welcome back here we resume action now here in the second quarter Here's the pitch, and now the ball is free. It's recovered. That just shows you how determined this defense is. Great play by the linebacker to come up with the ball after the fumble. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Penn State up seven points. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Yeah. 
Makes it to the 41. That makes it first and 10. Got the corner. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. And he has it on the corner. He gets hit out of bounds around the 43-yard line. First down. Singleton will run it again. Gets to about the 41 yard line. From the 41 yard line, second down. Fires incomplete, knocked away. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. Penn State is up by a touchdown. He goes out of bounds around the 38-yard line. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Steps out of bounds at about the 35. This offense lost the ball by way of a fumble the last time they had it. Each possession gets more and more vital as the game goes on, especially when you're behind. You can't afford to make many more mistakes. Fires out to his wideout. Tackle made at the 38. That's good for a game of three yards. That makes it second and eight. From their own 38-yard line, second down. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. Quick out to his receiver. He's hit and taken down. The defenders are really going to have to get their heads into this game. That was a big play, and on first down, no less. First and 10, ball on the 37-yard line. Three down, three down. Mike, 41, Mike, 41. Almost picked off. You don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance. But that's exactly what they did by not making that interception. Up the middle for a nice game. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 32. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. Loss of about two. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit. The kick is up, and he got it. You know, I was wondering if he's going to get a chance to kick one of those. We saw him warming up from 60 yards before the game. 7-3, Penn State. Michigan is ready to kick it away. He just drills this one. 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Penn State is up by four. He's going to try and scramble. Brought down around the 36-yard line. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 36. Here they go on the draw, and they'll lose yards. And that play was snuffed out from the get-go. You're right. It's a delayed handoff to the tailback, and the defense wasn't fooled at all there. Makes it out to about the 34-yard line. We've got third and 12. Ball on the 34. Fires it out. Tackle at about the 37-yard line. Just about three yards there. It was a nice catch by the sophomore, but it was well played by the defense to stop him for a minimal gain. Henning is the deep man awaiting the return. Booming kick. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down to the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on the board. He's tackled at the 27-yard line. Gain of two on the play. That, that makes, makes it second, second and eight. eight. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. Go. Go. On the run. And he's taken down at the 30. the stop at the 36-yard line. From their own 36-yard line, first down. He makes it to the 38-yard line. That's, That's a gain, a gain of, two of two on the play. play. That, that makes, makes it second and eight. Right, right, Roger, Roger. Four down, four down. Mike, 41, Mike, 41. Wide receiver screenplay. And down he goes around the 48-yard line. From their own 48-yard line. First down. The halfback with a carry. Tackled after decent pickup. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. From the 35-yard line. It's first down. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. First 
First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. And they'll bring him down behind the line. That is a loss of one yard. That makes it second and ten. Tenth play of the drive. Quick throw. He's taken down right around the 10-yard line. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. Out of bounds at the eight. This is the 12th play of this drive. He's scrambling, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. They'll line it up again on third down. Makes the catch and look out. That's a great tackle at the two yard line. Kicks up, and he got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, it's always fun to be part of a defensive battle, and that's certainly what we have right now. Yeah, give credit to both of these defenses. I mean, they, they're playing with a lot of energy, and I think they're doing a nice job up front at the line of scrimmage. And at this point, they're not giving this either of these offenses a chance to make the play. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Penn State up a point. Throws this one out to the right. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Gets out to about the 28-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. The Wolverines use their second timeout. Henning back deep to return. Gets to about the 44-yard line. You know, this offense is doing a pretty good job moving the football. The problem is they're not coming up with touchdowns. The offense coordinator who's been up here next to us, Brad, in the booth next to us, he's actually just taken off his headsets, and I think he's going down to the field to be next to the quarterback and the rest of this offense to try to engage with them to realize how important it is to finish these drives. And he's tackled at about the 49. And he tucked that one in for about five yards. Now he tries to buy some time, and they get the sack. We head into halftime with both offenses struggling. The Nittany Lions in front, 7-6.
Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. I'm a fan of seeing guys one step wrap, two step squeeze, bring your feet, arrive with bad intentions. Uh -huh. uh, I don't want to take anything away from these defensive guys, David, but could this be that we're seeing a healthy dose of some pretty bad offense, too? It goes hand in hand, doesn't it, Reese? Yeah, I mean, sometimes. usually, sometimes, uh, you know, pretty good defense makes, you know, average offenses look really, really bad. But, you know, when you have a great defense and you can take something away, especially the strength of the other offense, and make them do things that they don't do exceptionally well, and, you know, don't let them throw the fastball, make them throw the curve. And you see great defenses be able to do that all the time. And, and that's when you can be ultra successful. You have to find ways to make people play you know, the game out of their comfort zone. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. We've got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Penn State with a one-point lead. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. The defense was in the backfield by the time he took the pitch. Great penetration. from their own 24-yard line. It's second down. Runs outside for a nice game. Team's got to give their kickers some time. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He makes it to the 42-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 42. He's on the run. They'll bring him down right around the 48-yard line. Tackle in the backfield for a loss. loss of three. That brings us fourth and three. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Tackle made at the 45. Some room makes it out to about the 36. That's a deep, 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 deep. That brings in second and one. 
It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Makes it out to about the 26. the middle for a nice run. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Inside the 10, makes it out to about the seven. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Quick throw in the end zone, touchdown. The tight end scored that time, and with authority. Brady's a physical football player, but he's also got the finesse to make a big impact in the passing game. They'll go for two in this situation. Defense stacked in tight here. Edwards sweeps left. He's in for the conversion. A nice nine-play, 58-yard drive. And they add eight to the scoreboard after that successful two-point conversion. The score now, 14-7. Moody is lined up to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Michigan's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. They bring him down in the backfield. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. It out quickly to the back, but he can't haul it in. Nothing clicking there. Let's see if they can make a few adjustments before their next series. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. <laughs> Henning fields at the 31, and down he goes at the 37. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Nice run there. Seven yards there on that bit of misdirection. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Michigan is up a score. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And they push him out around the 33-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 33-yard line. right for a nice gain. Corum gains around six yards on the counter play right there. Tack 
Pacheco at the 10 yard line. Hoping to double their lead here as they close in on the goal line. Looks to him again, complete. Brought down around the three yard line. From the three yard line, second down. Michigan up seven points. He's tackled at the one. And the goal line defense digging in here. Dives for extra yardage. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Look at the scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. And they'll fail on fourth down. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And down he goes, right around the 18-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Caught with room to work. And they make the stop at the 24-yard line. Turner on the tackle at the 24-yard line. First down. Man left, man left. Two down, two down. Watch 14, watch 14. Throws incomplete. They got a hand on it. Second and 10. Ball on their own 24. And he's taken down at the 36. That makes it first and 10. Double tight, guys, double tight. Two down, two down. Here we go, Mike Tony, Mike Tony, Mike Tony. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. from their own 31-yard line. It's second down. They come out in a five-wide set. Quick throw, incomplete, wanted his receiver. He gets sacked on the play. Fourth and long here after the sack. Henning is back deep to return. He makes it out to midfield. Made a few guys miss on his way to a quality return. 
The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Michigan is up seven. He's taken down at the 47-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. Second down and seven. Ball on the 47. Scrambling around. They bring him down. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. Looks for his running back, incomplete. Robbins is the punter. Gets it away. Wait a minute, he's going to throw. And they'll take over on downs. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. They'll go Brown, and they'll bring him down behind the line. So it's second and 10. Ball on their own 48. Clifford off the fake. That's a great tackle at the 37-yard line. Lack of offense or great defense, call it what you will. We head to the fourth quarter. 14-7, Michigan. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Gets it on the pitch, and he's tackled at the 35. From the 35-yard line, second down. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. Throws it out there, and this one falls incomplete. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. They'll bring him down around the 27-yard line. And the defense stopped them cold on fourth down during their last drive. Nothing can impact an offense more negatively than being stopped on a series of downs. And that's what happened to this offense the last time they were out. It's not just the quarterback's job to try to get this offense going. I think it starts up front with the veteran offensive line. See what kind of leadership they have to try to change this thing around. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 41. Michigan is up by a touchdown. And he carries the ball for a nice game. They 
try running left. He makes it to the 48-yard line. That's a gain of one on the play. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. They give it to him again, and he's going to lose yardage. Loss of two by the halfback. Washington will be the return man. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Fires out to his wideout, and he hits him hard at the 23. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. it to the 31. That's a game on the play. That makes it first and 10. Gets to about the 34-yard line. Second down at 7 coming up here. Ball on their own 34. Tackle made around the 37-yard line. Gets out to around the 45. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 45. Throws complete and he stopped immediately. That's a game five on the play. That brings him second and five. Second and five. Ball on the 50-yard line. He fights forward to about the 49. Here's the eighth play of the series. Makes the first down catch. Great concentration to pull it in. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 38. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Got him on the screenplay. He's at the 20. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 19. That makes it first and ten. From the 19-yard line, first down. And he just gets rid of it. Here's the 11th play of the drive. They'll work the left side. He tackles him for a loss. Third 
third down and long, and they could really use a big play by their quarterback here this late in the game. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. He gets it up, and he got it. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. For Penn State, their pass rush has really been impressive today, Kirk. This is turning into a day that the offensive line wants to forget. They also have that one takeaway. And because of all their problems at the line, this offense is having a difficult time moving the ball. Well, when your overall average is less than four yards of play, that's the definition of struggling. This has been a brilliantly called game by the defensive coordinator, but they're running out of time here to pull off an improbable victory. Michigan is up four. Gets it out quickly. Tackle right around the 28-yard line. It's second and seven. Ball on the 28-yard line. Caught, and he's hit immediately. Brought down, nothing doing. Game one yard. That makes it fourth and four. The punting team's got to give their kickers some time. Puts it away, and it's a great kick. Brought down at the 39-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set, and he comes in with his dime packing. Throws in the middle, brought down at the 43. Here's the true test of a quarterback at any level. Can they make a good throw under pressure when one or two or three guys are coming right at him? I think this young passer has proven that, yes, he can. From the 43-yard line, first down. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Here's a quick throw. Great catch, and he's out of bounds. First down. From the 18-yard line. It's first down. He lets it go. He caught it. And now they've got the lead.
Penn State. With a two-point advantage. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. He makes the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Wolverines coaching staff and the entire team knows that this is the guy that can win it for them. And the offense has to find a way to get the football into the hands of this running back, whether it's a, a simple toss sweep or maybe a ball out of the backfield where he can catch it in space. Any way that they can get the football to him to see if he can spring one to maybe get the field goal range or who knows, maybe take it to the house. He's going to try and scramble. And they make the stop at the 41. Oh, and he can't hang on. Huge drop there. From their own 41-yard line. Second down. He's on the run, decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Tackle at the 46-yard line. Fires that quickly, incomplete. the 46 yard line second down gets it out to his receiver in a hurry and he's taken down at the 27 yard line not a real fancy play here just a smartly run route good protection and a well-placed ball most times you don't need much more than that under a minute left in the game Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Tackle made around the 31-yard line. So it's second and 14. Ball on the 31-yard line. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. This is the eighth play of this drive. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. and now the offense has got a chance to win it. Big kick here. This would most likely bring the game to overtime. A miss, and this game is over. He gets it up, and he splits the uprights. Michigan is lining up to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Right, this has been a great game to watch. A lot of competitive spirit out there. The offenses seem to be going up and down the field. Back and forth we go. I think the winner will be which defense can make that pivotal stop to secure a victory. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. Tackled at the 38. Penn State's going to take their first time out of the half. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. And down he goes at the 30-yard line. I think it was a great play call, and it was very well executed. 
any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. Quick throw, incomplete, one on his receiver. Short yardage situation here, it's third and one. They'll line up with five wide receivers. There's a strike complete. Brought down around the 19-yard line. The Nittany Lions using their third and final timeout. The kick is up. He got it. They win. And that gives them the lead. I know that I call kickers head cases, but this kid isn't one. It's like he doesn't even feel the pressure. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Late in the fourth quarter in a one-possession game. And poise is what it's all about here. Who's going to have it and who won't? One last play, folks. It's time to find out how far he can throw it and see if this game becomes one of the all-time greatest. Here we go. And this one falls incomplete. And so that's going to do it. The Nittany Lions get the victory. 20 to 17. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.